Hello everyone, greetings from India. This is Nirbhay Chauhan from Eklavya Self Learning Tutorials. When this tutorial will be discussing about the popsicle stick bridge design. So you guys sometimes you may have the competition in your school or colleges. I had such competitions back then in 2014. So I basically designed something like this. So this was a popsicle stick bridge design that I made. This was two decker basically. So the dimensions were around the overall length was 240 mm and the width was around 80 mm and the height was 60 to 70 mm I think. And if, if you can see the thickness of this popsicle stick is, is around 2 mm. So the type of this truss bridge is Hove truss bridge H O W E. So today we will be comparing the design of the pre analysis of such truss bridges. So whenever if you have any competition in future in your college or anywhere. So before actual testing during the competition you can pre analyze and pre design such bridges in the free CAD and you can have some satisfactory results. So here I have made these two bridges, two truss bridges here. In the left one you can see there are some things intentionally left in the top deck and in the right one I have made additions. So basically I will telling you what how the small minor changes can result in a very effective output. So let's begin with the first design. So we'll go to the FEM workbench. So this is a trust two. So here we have this compound. So what we'll do is we'll create the analysis object first. Now create the mesh by selecting the object. There's a compound here, and this create a mesh from the shape by G mesh measure. Leave the settings as it is and click apply. It may create a, take a while to create the mesh for the analysis. So if you see, if you have any questions regarding this modeling of this truss design, so that we may cover in some other tutorial. Basically, I have used the macro named uh, sweep macro that was designed by the Mario. I have discussed in earlier tutorial in the piping tutorial one so that macro is very helpful to uh, create sweeps between two points when they have any path in between them we can assign the rectangular sections ellipse circular or as per your requirement so here i have basically you see rectangular sections here of 2 mm thickness so it will take just a while to get the mesh done You may skip the video, video from this from here around half a minute. So we have the mesh ready. Click OK. Now we'll assign the material. So we can take the material wood generic here. If you see the popsicle stick is also a wooden material. Click OK. Now we'll assign the boundaries. So if you see we have to keep the stress bridge is fixed from the ends so what we can do is just select these edges click the control key and select the edges let's fix this also and one this similarly for the other side and one this bottom click add ok so you see the edges are fixed now the two ends now we'll go for the area load let the area load be around 600 newton now just click the add reference and click the faces again add reference click the faces add reference click the faces So you see the load is going in the upward direction. We can change it later. 
so click this option reverse direction so you see now the load is acting in the vertical downward direction click ok so just review the things we have added we have the mesh we have the material fixed constraint boundaries and the force so now go to the calculix click here the option runs the calculation for the solver so now it will run the calculix engine so we have the analysis being done this will be done a little faster i think so we have the results here click on the results double click now you see we have the options absolute displacement here and if you see clearly the red sections the displacement is most so you can see the average displacement is 2.70 and the maximum is 8.62 mm so after that it will break <laughs> so if you just increase the bar you can see how this is displacing so you see the bridge will fail very soon and you see it doesn't look nice the bridge is buckling so that's very unsafe so just note down this measurement you can compare later so now we'll go to the second design we have this trusses in the upper deck too so we'll perform the similar operations here expand this option so we have this compound filter here now we have the FEM workbench open before that we need to activate the FEM analysis here click the analysis object so analysis object is done click on the object create the mesh apply this may also take a while so I am saying again you can skip the video from this portion So we'll be applying the same constraints as we did in the earlier example. Same fixed boundaries, same area load. And we'll see what are the displacements now. So back then in 2014, I didn't have the knowledge about this software. So it was 2016 when I came to know about the free CAD and this Calculix. So if I had back then at that time, I could make have made some more uh, impressive designs. Patience. I need some patience here. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, we're done here. Click OK. So now let's fix the boundaries. Remember, we are taking the same ends here as we did in the early example. And the earlier truss. Just hold the control key to select the multiple faces. Click add, OK. So now we'll apply the area load. We'll keep the same load 600. So reverse the direction in advance. So click the add reference, select the faces. Add reference, faces. Just keep it doing for all the members we have where we want to apply the load so okay just review once that the loads are applied properly the ends are fixed so one thing we are left is the material 
keep the same material board generic click ok now run the solver from this option so this will take around 15 to 20 seconds i guess so now i will compare what are the displacement now you can see basically from the behavior too and how it will behave during the simulation that's really helpful so double click on the results absolute displacement now you see the red zones we have no more red zone in the top so absolute displacement is 0 0.28 and the maximum is 2.19 earlier the maximum was around 8 point dot something mm so it is reduced to four times so when you run the simulation from the bar you see now very effectively we have reduced the buckling you see the top members these top members are resisting the horizontal movement of the truss you see this so whenever you design any truss bridge or any arc bridge for the computation just don't forget to use this software you may able to design some very effective truss so this will be very helpful for you well that's all in this tutorial thank you guys for watching this one Dirpa Chauhan for make love via self learning tutorials goodbye